This is an enormous series with the Tigers two and a half games out of a wild card spot. Kansas City in one of those wild card spots today. Speaking of getting healthy, Reese Olsen is back on the hill. He will face Seth Lugo, who has just been awesome against the Tigers this year. Facing Seth Lugo. But if he pitches seven innings tonight, he'll have 200 for this season. What can the Tigers do against Seth Lugo? You know he's going to run that fastball up in the zone. Three straight starts, Andy. Seven innings and no more than one earned run allowed. Parker Meadows, the batter. We are under waste. Now he gives him a high target, and Lugo strikes out Meadows to begin the game. Here is Carpenter, Kerry Carpenter hitting 284. That line drive to left field sinking, and that's going to drop for a base hit. Kerry Carpenter takes a pitch away. Didn't hit it hard. But a line drive down the left field line for a single with one out here in the first. Yeah, just next up is Matt Fearling. Right center. And Renfro is there. Carpenter back to first, and there are two men out. Three and two. That's a miss. It's ball four. And the Tigers very quickly have two on with two out. Here's Colt Keith. He was seven out of eleven at Kauffman Stadium earlier this year. And on the hands, popped him up. That should end the inning. Frazier at third base right at the bag makes the play and that's that after half an inning the Tigers nothing it's the Royals coming up. He Solson throws his first major league pitch since July the 20th he's the Tigers starting pitcher hoping to get as he said as many outs as he possibly can from Reese tonight. Pham hitting 256. If you can get weak contact early. He can also strike guys out. Can he really? There's a slider. Welcome back, Reese Olson. One down. Bobby's average is 331. He has 198 hits, 31 of those home runs. To shortstop, got a hustle. Trey Sweeney gets it there in time. And it's the first out of the series for Bobby Witt Jr. So two down, and up comes Salvi. Perez hitting 275. Fly ball to right field is deep, but tracking it. Veerling will make the catch running toward the right field corner. Made a nice running catch. We head to the second inning. No score. Tigers and KC. Inning number three, 0 0 the score, which means that both pitchers off to a pretty good start. Meadows takes strike one. Now a soft ground ball to first base. Guriel will field shovel to Lugo, and Meadows beat it out. I thought they had him. A little bit slow to develop defensively. Well, Lugo has been one of the best defenders at his position all season long, and Guriel did all he could, too. And it's an infield hit for Parker Meadows. The Tigers are being patient with Lugo, and because he has a reputation of throwing strikes, Teams are usually more aggressive with him. The Yankees certainly were. Runners on first and second with two outs now for Riley Green. Check swing on a curveball down and in, and he held. That's ball four. Well, Lugo's second walk of the game. He's walked Green twice now, and the bases are loaded with two outs for rookie Colt Keith. Hit on the ground to the right side. Michael Massey to a knee. He scoops it up. Tossed to first. In time. Inning over. Zet Lugo strands the bases loaded and keeps the game scoreless. Leadoff walk. A single that gets through the left side. And now a bun single for Kyle Isbell. And the Royals have the bases loaded with nobody out. And Reese Olsen gets a mound visit. For the record, Tommy Pham does have a grand slam. Right there. Strike three. Swing back, you say? Swing it back, Reese. Well, the Royals struggled with runners in scoring position yesterday, just one for 12. Bobby has driven in 103 this year, 16 against the Tigers in the first 10 games. Breaking ball hit high in the air, deep to the left field corner. Green races back, he's out of the track, he looks up, it's out of here! Bobby Witt Jr., grand slam! Oh, this place is going nuts! 4-0 Royals in the bottom of the third on one big swing from the Royals superstar. And he hit it high and far. Look at this baby hang. That's a hanging breaking ball, 79 miles an hour. Now Salvi hits one the other way. And he is one for two. That'll be the end of the day for Reese Olsen. Pitch count, Reese Olsen's day is done. His first start back. Six up, six down to start, but he couldn't get out of the third. Four Ks now for Lugo. He faces Zach McKinstry, a left-handed hitter. 
Zach McKinstry pummels this ball right field. That's down for a hit. Is that sunlight that's coming through? He's to second on his way to third, and McKinstry's got himself a triple with one out here in the fourth. Trey Sweeney hits a line drive to center field. Isbell will come in, make the catch. Will stumble for McKinstry coming home. Throwing won't be nearly his time. Sweeney line drive out, and the Tigers get on the board. Sacrifice fly. Melendez is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Melendez pulls it fair past Torkelson. And Melendez is running hard. He will round second. And he will dive in with a one out triple. And the Royals come right back after the Tigers score their first run. And Michael Garcia comes to the plate. He's pinch hitting for Adam Frazier. Garcia loops it through the left side, a base hit in the left field. Another hit against the Tigers for Michael Garcia. This time it's a pinch hit RBI single. And the Royals have a 5-1 to one lead in the bottom of the fourth inning. Tigers, they've given Lugo a hard time. He's given up one run so far, but... Here's a bunt. Third base side, Parker Meadows. That is nice. He's on to lead off the fifth. Carpenter pops out, and that'll leave it up to Matt Vierlin. On the ground, Bobby Witt Jr. gets over there, wheels and throws high, and that rang into the dugout and back out, so the Tigers will get a couple extra bases here. That will send Veerling to second base. Meadows scores, and it's 5-2. to two. Error, no RBI, and an error. And a charge to Bobby after the base hit. Now, tough play. Bobby going far to his left, really threw off balance, and his throw sailed over Yuli Gurriel, the first baseman. Two down now, and the batter will be Colt Keith, the rookie. Oh, Colt Keith smokes this ball. Deep right field, did he? Yes, he did! Two run homer on the first pitch, and it's five to four. Here come the Tigers again. Seth is just having some command issues. It's not working out the way he's wanted to. No, 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 Lugo. Cole Keith. I mean, that ball is deposited. And it's hit off the end of the bat and down into left center field with two down. Torkelson makes the turn. He will be done for the night with left-handed hitting McKinstry due up and with Long, the lefty, ready. He's coming on. We have a pitching change in the fifth. Triple for Kyle Isbell leading off inning number five as the Royals seeing the Tigers close within one. Setting the stage for Bobby Witt Jr. Well, Bobby is in a grand slam tonight. He can't do that in this plate appearance. Now Bobby is one hit away from 200. Slow roller, Isbell, and a oh! ball, ball. Safe at first base. The Royals get a run, and the Tigers do not record an out. But they're going to call it an infield hit, and Bobby Witt Jr. has 200 hits and counting in 2024. You get it, he'll take it, are you kidding me? That speed, it is elite. Now we'll keep an eye on Bobby, who's been stuck with 28 stolen bases for a while. Now the pitch, now Bobby goes, pitches down and away, throw down is not in time. It's a stolen base for Bobby, a head first slide. Stolen base number 29, and he gets himself into scoring position. And the Tigers are gonna challenge it. Okay, got to wait, slide as late as you can until you get in there, and oh, and that's a tight one. Left hand gets there, but the tag is there. So there you go, it stands, which tells you that the initial call maybe helped tilt the scales in Bobby's favor. Well, during commercial, Vance Wilson got into it with third base umpire David Rackley after Massey struck out to in the inning. And the Tigers have runners at first and third and nobody out in the sixth. Wenzel Perez has grabbed a bat. He will hit for Kerry Carpenter. Line drive, left field. That's a base hit. Wenzel Perez with a dart to left field. Out of the clear blue, we are tied again. Young talent shines once more. These Tigers are not kittens. They are coming here to the K with three left with them, knowing the team ahead of them. They have a chance to gain some ground, and they are attacking. John Schreiber comes on with the go-ahead run at second base and only one out. And they'll hunt one of those righty-righty matchups here, Veerling against Schreiber, and that ends up at the backstop, but it's a good bounce, and Salvi's throw is not in time. Wenzel got around it evidently, but we will see if they want a challenge. That was as true of a bounce as you'll get off the backstop. Let's see over at third. Did he swim past him? He might have. Upon review, the call on the field stands. Yep. Runner is safe. 
Kansas City loses their challenge. So that will be a wild pitch. One out, infield in tight, the 2 twos. Line drive, base hit into right. Tigers take the lead. Perez in to score. Seven six Tigers. Matt Fearling delivers in the sixth. We have not seen the Tigers with their teeth like this all year. Bottom of the seventh inning now at Kauffman Stadium. And the Royals trail the Tigers seven to six. Guriel smacks it to left field. Green darts back and to his right, and it bounces in front of him a base hit. And Yuli Guriel has a leadoff single, with Guriel representing the potential tying run. And here comes Garrett Hampson. Fastball drilled into the left center field gap. That's down for a base hit. Hampson speeds around second. He gets to third. Aguasil holds him there. A one-out single for Tommy Pham. The Royals have runners on first and third with one out, and Bobby Wood Jr. comes to the play looking for another it hits it high in the air right field side Veerling coming into foul territory he makes the catch the pinch runner Hampson will not go and Veerling threw it just wide of first runners on first and third two outs Royals down by one high fly ball center field Meadows has room Parker says I got it and he is right and that ends the inning the Royals had the potential tying run 90 feet away and potential go ahead run at first, but failed to score at all in the bottom of the seventh. Michael Garcia, RBI single in the fourth, flight out to right field in the sixth. First pitch to him, grounded right to second base. That's Keith. It's Sweeney. It is in time. Torque dug it out. What a play. This game is non-stop insanity. It's officially over-served at 7-6. to six. Then he on comes the Detroit closer, Jason Foley, who's been very good. And well, he's been asked to protect a one-run advantage. And now it's up to Tommy Pham to get Bobby Witt to the plate. Hey! He struck him out, and the Tigers win this grand adventure in Kansas City tonight. And the Detroit Tigers just simply outplayed the Royals tonight.